From now on, every movie that does not start with one of the characters celebrating and appreciating the glory that is Nick Cage, that movie's just gonna lose me right then and there. We follow a creatively unfulfilled Nick Cage who is facing financial ruin, so he must accept a one million dollar offer from a crazed superfan. But things soon take an unexpected turn when he is recruited by the CIA for a very special mission. But before I probably start with my review for the unbearable weight of massive talent, I want you to let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Are you excited? Have you seen it? What is your favorite Nick Cage film and why? Anything and everything down there. And if you love movies and TV, this is the place to be. So consider clicking that subscribe button so you don't miss any future conversations on your favorite movies and TV. Big shout out to Lionsgate UK for granting me a chance to watch this one early. I was so hyped for this film because I am a Nicolas Cage appreciator. I love this man. Even when he is in the worst possible movies, he delivers. He never phones it in. And this director is clearly like me. He appreciates all that Nick Cage is and everything that he has given us fans. This entire film in itself is a tribute to the often misunderstood wacky brilliance of Nicolas Cage. It is an absurdly hilarious film and incredibly self-aware great time at the cinema. The film is extremely funny. I was laughing continuously. I don't remember a single joke not hitting. This is a fabulous comedy. Even if you take the Nicolas Cage specificity out of it, this film is just incredibly funny and one of the funnest times I've had in a movie screen. I have not laughed this incredibly much in such a long time. We've had good comedies in these past three years. We had good comedies recently, but this film is on a whole nother level. I was crying, I was gasping for air. And it's not that it's just funny. It's how it is funny in celebrating Nicolas Cage, making references to his whole career, the good, the bad, and just seeing Nick Cage have an incredibly fun time on screen. And the film knows exactly what it is doing in that sense. And along with the laughs, it has a ton of heart and charm to it because you follow Nick Cage as he is having this troubled relationship with his daughter and he's in his own Nicolas Cage way trying to fix that throughout. And even though you have all the Nick Cage eccentricities that this film promises, it delivers in spades, you also have this grounded family story that is really earnest throughout this film and really works. And that helps in Nick Cage himself giving one of his best performance, obviously playing a somewhat version of himself, but this is spectacular. He's having the time of his life, but also kind of having this retrospect on his career and the mistakes he has made in the past. I'm sure there's some correlation to what actually happened throughout the past, I don't know, 20 years but there's some sort of exaggeration to fit it into the film, but it does feel extremely personal to him. And he manages to blend them all and balance all these elements in only a way Nick Cage can. There's moments in this film where he has conversations with his younger self, and it's really well done CG double. Like, the way they use de-aging on him is very well done, particularly for a film that didn't have the biggest budget. And it's just riotous watching Nick Cage having a conversation with another Nick Cage. I honestly just wish there were even more Nick Cages throughout this. And I found myself watching this film really not having seen anything remotely like this before. The film is extremely creative, it's smart, it subverts all your expectations in terms of how everything is going to play out. And I thought to myself, I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. It is exactly what I could have wanted from a film where Nicolas Cage plays himself. It's this wacky, oddball, 
quirky comedy that you just don't know where it's gonna go and one of the things that helps in that is Pedro Pascal as this super crazed fan of Nicolas Cage and he knows exactly what he is doing as well. He's on the exact same wavelength as Nick Cage and the two create this budding bromance throughout the film that is so heartfelt as well. The conversations that these two share throughout are just absolutely riotous, whether they're talking about the works of Nicolas Cage, Nicolas Cage as a man, or even just movies in general, it almost feels like improv and they're just literally having conversations on screen. It's utterly charming to the point where you have this constant grin on your face. My cheeks hurt by the end of the film. They just light up the screen together. Nicolas Cage lights up the screen. The entire film lights up your face and your smile and your life, which is why when it comes to the CIA plot, I was disappointed. It's not badly done. It's not without its effectiveness, but in the execution, I thought the rest of the film in what it was doing, how it was doing it, it was so fresh, so unique, that the CIA plot just felt generic, felt standard, and it felt like it barely added anything to the film in terms of how it was executed. You have these two agents played by Tiffany Haddish and Ike Barinholtz who recruit Nicolas Cage to investigate this super fan played by Pedro Pascal. I'm not going to say why, but to me, it almost felt like the film didn't need them. What if this film was Nicolas Cage starting to suspect something, and then he goes out of his own volition, trying to find out if this guy is committing some crime? And that, to me, went along exactly with what the conflict of the film was. It's Nicolas Cage down on his luck, on his career, with family problems, he wants to be a star again. It was all right there, but the film just kind of gets in its own way. Again, it's not something that ruins the film, but it slightly tainted the overall experience because what works in this film really works. It is a so joyous celebration of everything Nicolas Cage. The unbearable weight of massive talent is equal parts quirky and heartfelt. It uncages all the best that Nick Cage has to offer. It's smart, it's subversive, it's sharp, it is a love letter to the man and his entire career. And I'm giving the unbearable weight of massive talent a B+. But those are only my thoughts on the unbearable weight of massive talents. I want to know what you think of the film when you see it, if you've seen it, anything and everything down there. Thank you so much for watching. Once more, thank you to Lionsgate UK for granting me a chance to watch this one. And thank you to my channel members Bruna and Stuart for making this video possible. I hope to see you very soon in any of the other reviews I have up. Every week we talk Moon Knight, I just reviewed The Northman and The Lost City. All of those are right now up on the channel and I hope you check those out. And so until the next one. Love each other and love the movies.